Welcome back everyone to Steve's Place Down Under. Today we're going to try and start this crane. First we're going to change that bodgy looking tyre on it. Um, it's been flat for years. If you haven't seen this episode, go back, there's one of us picking it up. <coughs> Went for another cab ride in the Kenworth. Um, one of us picking it up. We had to winch it on, it rained. That was this morning actually, so this that's why I'm wearing a different shirt. The bloke lent me a t-shirt because mine got soaked, my Steve's Place one. Um, now it's now it's sunny when we got home, so we're going to change this tie. Then we're going to try and start it. He said it hasn't been going a few years, so I don't know if that's ten, if it's two, if it's three. I don't know. So that's all he said. Um, but after we change the tie, we'll try and get it going and see how she, see how she goes. So I didn't start recording this because I thought it'd be a mongrel like the other Chamberlain crane I've got. And if you haven't seen that, I've got a this is a reverse one. I've got a proper Ford 6G Chamberlain with a crane on it. It's sat for over 40 years and the rims are very rusty. It took a lot of getting off, but I thought this one might have been the same, so I just thought we'd start and just see how it goes before we film it, and it comes straight off. There's not a lot of rust in it at all, so got that off with about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna go down and get a tire and put it straight back on. We'll just give it a bit of a linish with a wire brush, but sorry we didn't film it. It wasn't overly exciting, but it was you know, part of the video, but you see it's not too bad at all. Just clean up these surfaces and and, and uh, find some bolts because he's only got this stuff from I, I don't really trust that cad plated rubbish on something that could potentially kill you if it exploded so I've got some grade 8 uh, UNF bolts there, chassis bolts so we're going to get a tyre off a, a couple off an echo down the back and I'll we'll whack it back on I just stuck down the back to get a putting a 920 on it which is a lot bigger, it's still 20 inch, but a lot bigger than what come off. One that come off was a grader tire, I think, front grader tire. Lot, lot shorter in the wall, so this will lift her up a bit. Um, it's an 825 20 on this side, which again won't matter. Um, it's still pumped up, so it'll, it'll, it'll be able to be pumped up even further to bring it back up. <coughs> the 825, it's, just, it's, like a, it's like a lower wall sort of thing. So a mate of mine, John, if you're watching John, this is off that echo of yours, um, had a Butterbox echo that was running these 920 tube tyres. And I think he put 11R 22.5s on it, which are steel belt, which, is, which are radials. Um, so I got eight of these, six or eight of these off him. And I used two on the other Chamberlain crane I got. Again, if you haven't seen that episode, go back, sitting 40 years, it's a five part series, that one. Um, and this is the third one I've used, so it's, it's good. And, and I've got another one of these. This is a, I think they call them an R1250, these reverse Chamberlains. It's basically a 9G reversed. And I've got another one over here, which is heavily modified, but originally it was one of these. So it's over there among, among all that other mess. Um, it's got the same size tires, but I remember even, even as a kid, because it's been in the family a long time, the canvas coming through and it's still going, that one tyre. So to tidy her up, I could put a couple on that and it brings me down to probably, I don't know, quite a few of my own down there. I'll probably have four left in stock or something. So it's worth getting these things. You think, oh, tyres you don't want laying around, but you do because I've used a lot and I've also got a lot of old trucks down the back that run them old girls. Oh, I could, they'd even fit this truck. You could, you could use them using any prime moves around the paddock they'd still fit this so not that I'd do that to the poor old girl but so we're going to break the bead on this one put a bit of slippery on her and put it all back together and we'll concentrate on getting it going Mick's, Mick's just dying to bloody dive out he's dying to drive it off I said Mick we've got to put a wheel on it first so he's looking at all the levers and what ones he's going to pull first break that one okay so it's about an hour later we had a couple of beers and talked a bit of rubbish just had to get that split rim off there. And then um, this one will lift straight off, the beads are already broken. And we'll roll it over and punch that rim out and then we'll basically soap it up and smash, smash it back in. Which is what you probably all want to hear. Mix onto it here, look, he's used to it. They haven't really got a taper to, to, to let release these, they're just a flat wheel. Oops. 
waiting for that patch to go off and we leaned up against the track and all these wasps started coming out. These bloody things hurt. They are like a red hot needle going into you. And most, most decent old equipment's got a nest on it. Look at that. Here I'm telling you how much they hurt and I'm fucking standing around. I just sprayed them with the brake cleaner. They don't like that, but a few got away. I haven't got any more tune or anything over here. Three or four of them hit you, you down for a bit. They, they hurt. So anyway, back to the job. Um, had to patch that, we got it back in the tyre. We've got the rim soak, soaked up. We've got a bit of Neversees where the the second part of the wheel goes on. So it goes on nice. Mick's just putting a bit of slippery on that now. Then we'll shove it on and we'll have to go and find some bolts too before we lift this other section up. Look how many are back there on that nest. Pump it, mate. Well, you do that, I gotta take the beer out of the freezer. Some beer? Yeah. Not all about beer, Nick. We've gotta get this going. Uh, in the beer? Time off the road. Time's bunny. <laughs> Better than having frozen beer in, in the freezer. <laughs> Busting. Uh, find some bolts and uh, we'll put the second part on. Where's that? Oh, here. Yeah. It's up against that mug, I can't get a socket on it. That went home, that's done. Do 180. Those, those are actually fitting that lug without that square on it. Wanted to keep the lug there. and then we'll have a look at it at the end. Next yep. one. Yep. Yep, the top, it's done that one, isn't it? Yep. Again, hang on, hang on. Right. Yep. Okay. Well, it's thinner, it? You're gonna push her in? What are you gonna hold? Okay. Must be wrong thread. What's it doing? It's just not 
going nowhere. We've got a mile of thread to go. Hang push. On. Okay, just I'm going to push it out, back it, back it, back out. Cross thread or something there. That was that one I couldn't start to. Now the tyres on, the jacks are out from underneath it. We've got a battery in it. We haven't tested anything yet. We just sat it in there. The mix had a drum of fuel up there because he's had the tank disconnected. He's just got a boat primer bulb down there, which I like because that other Chamberlain crane I did has got one on it. And the fuel tank around here <clears throat> looks, to be in, looks to be in good condition, but it's, it's like water and bits and pieces in it. So I'll, I'll eventually hook that back up. Hasn't had an air cleaner on it for a long time. That's, I was gonna say fairly bodgy, but it's beyond that. But anyway, it's still there. It looks like the um, generator's just there to tighten the belts, like everything at my place. So the water pump's had it, I, I, I know that. You can, you can still get those, so. I'm gonna bleed the fuel up now. We're gonna see if she winds and see if it fires up. I did test the throttle off camera, but Someone's put all these shit and glitter cables on it. They're just very bodgy and they've broken off either end. So I'm just going to have to go in and get some more of those and just set it back up the same because it obviously works. So, But it's just going to be on idle now. Unless the rack's stuck, it'll be flat out. But we'll set this up and see what we can do with it. Now, how long do you say, Mick? Two. You said a few, a few years. So. Okay, so let's give it a go. It's all bled up to the pump. We haven't bled the injector lines, but it might be okay. Can't see any reason they'd be empty, so. So it's got to be. When just then. He coughed. At five. But she might have got a gut full of air from those returning fuel. Well, returning and injectors must be getting. Yeah.
way too low, it just turns off. So if I wind that up, that's why he's got all that those wires and things holding it there because it like I say to keep it running. Yeah. That sounds good. Run it on all four, I just get a little spanner and where from? Well, like the top or up towards the top, yeah. Let me see. It's up here, you can see the water coming out of it. So the water pump must be working. It has to be if the impellers on there it's gotta be working, it's just not probably not holding it. I wouldn't probably not Chamberlain, but probably seems to be made for the machine. It's cut out where the wheel is and where the where the crane slews, so I don't know. It's an ugly thing, but if it's genuine I'd sort of like it too. You wanna hold that lever forward while you're there, Mick? Sorry. Push that lever in, can you? Oh this one. Oh yeah. Okay. Might the fucking tank's not big enough, like you let it down, it'll squeeze it out in a minute. 
It probably won't because it's in this dip actually. But once you fill it up. But when you're on level, it'll squeeze it out. That's what I mean. But when you lift it, it's not enough. It's like it's not big enough for that cylinder. Never used to. No, never used to, no. It's like the capacity shrunk. You want me out? I'm out. You might need that ether, I don't know. It's in the toolbox.
run. So next day now, um, got a bit carried away last night. It got started getting dark and Tom, we parked it up and packed everything away, all the float and the truck and everything. It just got too late to finish this video. So we will be doing more on it. Obviously, we're gonna just park it for the time being. First of all, I'd like to just get the brakes and the water pump working. And I think it'll be a usable machine for a while. Um, we plan on building another shed here, so we'll pro probably use it on that. But until then, thanks for Patreon members, thanks for people that subscribed, thanks to everyone that's supporting us. So please like the, like this episode, please share this episode, please just, it all helps us grow. So thanks very much everyone. <laughs>